On this episode, we're featuring Raydown Reduction System, Inc., the Dan Firks team at Compass Real Estate. But first up is the philosophy of Anja Noy, all here on Business Connection. And joining me now from the philosophy of Aja Noy is Philip Bogolov. Hi, Phil. Hi, how you doing? Good. So what is this philosophy? Okay, so the philosophy is it's very engaging and it has to do with using your subconscious mind to be able to go anywhere you want in life and then find out what your true purpose on planet Earth is. Aja Noy stands for two things. Aja and Noy. Aja is your soul, N-O-I, Noy is your knowledge. So it's your soul knowledge together. Sounds very interesting and intriguing. Where did, where did this come from? So for, for many years, I've been reading philosophical uh, uh, text, uh, psychological, theological uh, text, videos, everything I can get my hands on. And what I found is that all this stuff is really great, mm -hmm. but it's based on you know, take, taking time to back off and say prayer and, and, and meditate. And I could do that. I do that all the time. But the problem is I want to be able to have something that I can use like a wallet. I can take with me wherever I go because when the world's happening with you and something stressful happens mm -hmm. in your life, you can't go, excuse me, hang on a minute. I'm gonna just, it, you can't do that. So this philosophy is something you can use and take with you all the time. And that's where I came up with the imaging technique and mindset. Okay. So... So, so tell me a little bit about the imaging technique and the mindset. For, for this discussion, we're going to talk about the most important part of the philosophy is one thing, imagination. So I'm going to throw out a few things. Okay. It's more for the audience than for yourself. All right. But I want you to picture your first or favorite vacation, the first time you bought a car, when your children were born, when you got married, when you bought your first house, when you got your first paycheck, when you learned how to ride a bike. So I know I'm going really fast, but the mind works extremely fast. Mm -hmm. So you either have a picture in your mind or you have videos and sound attached to it, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so that is on the motion picture screen of your mind. Mm -hmm. And we're going to tap into that through this Ajinoy to create a mindset in your life. Okay, tell me a little bit more. I mean, I think imagination is interesting because I don't think a lot of philosophies play on your imagination. Correct. This is something that you don't have to sit down and prepare for. This is something that can, you can create from the minute you wake up to the minute you go to sleep. Um, and because of the imaging technique, it's very engaging. So you're constantly doing this. And it's something in the mind that keeps you occupied with something that is focused on what you really truly want to accomplish in your life as opposed to the negative thoughts that are telling you you can't do it. And with the imaging, with these imaginational thoughts and process procedure they have between the conscious and subconscious, it's very scientific that when I teach this, that's all you're doing is thinking about this all the time. You're becoming this technique. You're becoming a world of Ajinoy. You're becoming a world living in the subconscious mind, where then you take it out in the world and you're not even realizing you're using it every day. Because it takes that anxiety, that nervousness, that negativity away. And you can do that anytime you want by turning this on and off like a light switch. So the difference between me and other philosophies, and I think there's a lot of good stuff out there, it's not promising you to do something, you know, you're going to get this or get that. It's totally up to you what you want to get out of your life. And through that subconscious mind and rewiring in these techniques, you'll find out what it is from yourself. So you have two sets of minds. So we're, now we're going to go into how this whole thing works. Right. And here's right. my props. Okay. So we're going to do two things pertaining to this. I know it's a sand timer, but I'm going to describe this in two ways. The first thing you have is your conscious mind. Okay. The second thing you have is your subconscious mind, and sub means underneath. Mm -hmm. So what these end up being as we get older is just a mirror of each other. But what, what you really want to tap in, into is the subconscious mind, because this is your informational mind, your conscious mind. Your everyday mind. Your, thank you very much. Your everyday mind, the things that you use to go walking, scratching, go washing your hair, those of us that have hair, and, then, and do things in the everyday. And the best way I can describe the subconscious mind and the purpose of it is being a baby. And there's three, before I tell you about that, there's three particular process procedures we go through from birth to death. It's called discovery, awakening, and transformation. Discovery, awakening, and transformation. So what happens is the baby has a spoon, and it's got food in it. Doesn't have a clue how these concepts work. You put it in your eye, put it in your nose, in your ear, suddenly you get it in your mouth. What a discovery, I got an awakening. This tastes right. good, I can do it myself. Whole life is transformed. Next thing is the sippy cup. I don't even know how to swallow. You have to teach yourself how to do that. 
So what happens is you learn how to do that, you have a discovery, awakening, and a transformation. And the next thing you know, we don't know how to go to the bathroom. We have to be potty trained. Discovery, how to do it, an awakening that we can do it on our own, transforms our life. So then we have to crawl, we have to walk, we have to learn how to run, to, to talk, to speak, to do everything. So those three things are imperative, not only just in the philosophy, but we, lear, we use from birth to death. And that's the informational mind. The, it's, the, it's the knowledge mind, the everyday mind, as you said. So the bottom one is the transformational mind. That's okay. the subconscious. This is where your soul, your spirit, your spirit guides, your universal mind, where the source is, whatever that source is for you. So this is where all imagination, like I said with Einstein, this is where the coming, coming attractions happen. This is where the creativity, but this is where it starts. But you can't work in this. This is the thing that you're used to doing every single day and you're in automatic mode. So now you want to be able to take with your imagination, and I can train people to do this, is you take a wire from the imaginational mind, from that subconscious, and hardwire this into that screen, that motion picture screen in your mind, so now this is in charge of your everyday. This kind of just takes you from point A to point B every day. There's no place you can't go within this mind. Now we're gonna use this as a sand timer. The time of sand and the little trickles of time never stop. Right. It's no a matter constant. what you do, it's a constant. You can move it this way, you can move it that way, it doesn't really matter. So this is your now, this is your future. In your now, you make a decision and affects your future. But just like all human beings, including me, everybody, you make a bad decision in your now, which affects your future. Mm -hmm. Now, the most important thing to remember on this particular idea is the electrical system of the mind. The electrical system, when everybody's heard about this, it works with direct current and alternating current. So you want direct current. You want this to be smooth. You want the time to keep going, and you want to live in the now and the future. But unfortunately, make a bad decision in the now and then the future, and what happens, we got chaos. We got alternating current. We got mm -hmm. alternating thoughts. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? So what happens in this alternating current? You start getting mad, you're yelling at people, you can't sleep at night, you're nervous, you're, oh my God, everything's, you know, get a flat tire. So Ajinoi teaches you to shut that off. So this is where you can actually fulcrum this, you pivot this, or you, you know, a teeter-totter without people on either side. You want it balanced. And when it becomes to the point where you have chaos thoughts, where you have the alternating current and alternating thoughts, switch it on, and you realize how this works and the techniques that are included in this, and I can train you to do that, and you can just get anything you want in your life. You can then tap into these coincidences that you think are coincidences, and they're not. They're really telling you, you don't need to be whatever your job is. You're miserable there. You can still do this, because everybody has a purpose in life, but it only exists through the subconscious mind. That's awesome. And so, and your goal is to to guide other people through this, to teach, to coach this philosophy. Absolutely, and, and you can use this as a business, you can use this for your personal life, you can use this for anything you want. Phil, this is fascinating. I, I wish you a lot of luck. I hope you get to help a lot of people with this. Thank you, that's my intention, to make a difference. Well, that's awesome, you're a wonderful guy, so I appreciate you thank taking you. time to stop by and tell us about this philosophy and how we can get connected with you. Absolutely, thank you very much. If you're interested in learning more about the philosophy of Aja Noi, please visit their website. Stay in the know, at home, or on the go with NCTV 17 News Update. This quick recap of everything happening in and around town will be delivered straight to your email inbox for free. Sign up today. If you're just tuning in, you're watching Business Connection. I'm your host, Liz Spencer, and joining me now from Radon Reduction Systems, Inc., are Dave and Vicki Massa. Welcome, you guys. Thank you. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Well, I, I really am excited. I don't want to say excited, but I'm happy to have you because I want to know about Radon, and you guys are, are the people to tell me. So tell me a little bit about Radon. Um, you know what? We are an Illinois State licensed Radon contractor in Naperville, right here in Naperville. And Radon is a naturally occurring gas uh, that sometimes can build up to levels in your house by getting into your home, okay. build up to unsafe levels. And um, it's just not good for you if you're living in the home. Actually, the risk associated with radon gas is lung cancer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been proven to be the second leading cause of lung cancer. So we are the company that comes in and fixes that for you. And when do people need to test for radon? Is it when they're buying or selling a home or do you test it periodically? Well, the Environmental Protect, uh, Protection Agency recommends every homeowner test once every two years. 
Um, up till COVID, about 95% of our business was real estate driven. So you put your house on the market, if it tests high, the sellers want the buyers to fix it. The buyers call people like us, <laughs> uh, which the state of Illinois has regulated. So we come in and we fix it. But since COVID, it's all flipped mm -hmm. uh, because people are just concerned because they've been trapped in their homes for you know a few years. Mm -hmm. So they want a, a, a safe haven right. uh, to work and learn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And, and how is radon fixed? How do you guys fix radon? How do you eliminate it from my house? Well, we, to make a long story short, <laughs> we come in and we install active radon mitigation systems. Um, PVC plumbing pipe, I'm sure we, most of us have seen what that looks like in mm -hmm. our homes, but we come in and we put a ventilation system in and we have to guarantee in the state of Illinois that we can get those levels below 4.0 picocuries per liter. Okay. So in short, it's a mechanical system. It's a permanent fixture of okay. the home. So it's always going to be there. So it's always going to, once, if, if you have radon and then you put the system in, it'll keep it all level. Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Mm -hmm. How has the, the industry and the perception of radon gas changed in the last 30 years? I mean, I don't remember hearing about it 15 years ago. Well, actually, it's been around forever, um, <laughs> but um, since we became um, in the business in 1991, um, you know, uh, people would be buying and selling their home and test for radon. But um, now, with the COVID, uh, we're finding out that more people are doing this for health concerns. So, in the past 30 years, it's changed dramatically because people are working in their homes. Um, more. Um, the kids were working, schooling from home, and people are just testing because um, they, need, they need to make sure that they're living in a safe environment. Well, and let's talk a little bit about how COVID has changed your business. Yeah, it's changed everybody's business, but mm -hmm. how has it impacted yours? What happens is, you know, you're forced to work at home. Maybe the husband or wife are down in their basement at their office for 12 to 14 hours a day. The, their spouse says, hey, honey, you're down there working all, did you hear about this radon thing? We should get it tested. Uh, your kids, your kids are learning from home. You're kind of trapped in the house mm -hmm. because of the stay at home order. And also people are working out at home. They're on their $3,000 Peloton mm -hmm. <laughs> and cranking away mm -hmm. where if there's elevated levels of radon, it, instead of a great thing you're doing for your body, maybe not so much. So that's why the EPA recommends every homeowner test. And is, is the test simple? How do, you, how do you test? The test is very simple. You could either go to like Home Depot or go online to Amazon and get a testing kit. Okay. Um, you know, the EPA does recommend um, a 48 to 72 hour test, um, but you, you, it's very easy. Um, we recommend you hire a professional licensed tester because they can, it can calibrate every single hour and you can see the calibrations on their test results. But um, yeah, it's very, very easy to test your home. That's awesome. It's good to know that it's easy when you're thinking about doing it. Mm -hmm. So what, what's the future of, of, the, of the business of radon reduction systems? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, uh, we're continuing on with doing radon mitigation. We feel it's a very critical service. We want to feel safe in our homes. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're moving into the public awareness sector. Okay. Uh, we're going to try to create policy, um, is making laws that state every homeowner has to have an active mitigation system. Every builder has to put it in their new construction. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're getting out there. We've done some things with podcasts and we did some stuff with WGN. We were in the Naperville Day, uh, St. Patty's Day Parade, mm -hmm. put on by the West Suburban Irish, by right. the way. Mm -hmm. And we're just trying to get out there. Anybody that wants to listen about radon, we're very passionate about it. Mm -hmm. We feel it's an important thing to do in our lives. And it might seem uh, dramatic, but we are saving lives mm -hmm. because we're creating a um, safer home environment. Absolutely, and especially if, if we don't know it, it's um, around. And is Illinois, does it have more radon, say, than others, or is this a hot spot at all for radon? There, you know, if you would look at the map of, of the whole United States, it seems like the Midwest is a very hot spot. 
Um, yeah, Illinois is most um, has the most highest um, uh, regulations, okay. which is really good to know. Um, the EPA and um, Illinois Management Agency they um, they really have put down a lot of regulations for radon for us. So um, everyone who lives in Illinois, they really should be happy that you know the state is really taking care of them and making sure that the licensed mitigators out there like us are doing the correct and the right thing. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So how do you guys create plan to create a public awareness campaign? Is it Radon Man? Is no. It, <laughs> look who's with us. Yes, um, that's our new exciting thing. Um, we're still planning to mitigate away. We have three wonderful guys working for mm -hmm. us, Jeff. Um, Cody and Brandon and uh, Dave and I. Dave's doing all the estimates. Um, I'm doing all the work inside. But um, right now we're trying to spread the word. Um, like Dave said, we were in the Naperville Parade mm -hmm. and um, it was super fun. Unfortunately, it was way too cold. Um, not too many people were out there, but um, we, we're going to try to have more fun um, creating um, radon awareness with our superhero guy. And um, we have two of these cardboard guys. And um, this, we had to bring Don over because Ray, he was, um, he was a little, he got a little banged up. So. Did he, is he, he's on the mend. Though. He is, he's on the mend, okay. he is. But um, Don looks, looks a little nicer for TV today. But yeah, we're really excited. We're gonna be um, trying to go into realtor offices. Um, we're trying to um, create a program with the plumbing companies mm -hmm. where we can teach CE to plumbers because they're the ones putting the, the systems in new construction. Right. And um, we, like Dave says, we wanna try to get um, it law that it's a active system in new construction. They're doing only passive. So we wanna try to um, create like a curriculum um, for plumbers unions so that way they can get CE credits um, for radon. But also, you know, um, speaking out and, and just uh, trying to create awareness. So we thought that this would be a good time to introduce the Radon Man um, because to be a superhero, you need to do heroic deeds. And you need to do them in a way, you have to have the ability to do them in a way that is exceptional. Uh, so a normal human being can't do it. And you need to use that power in a very positive way. Mm -hmm. So the power for the Radon Man is to fight and defeat the villain, Radon Gas. And the good deed is creating a, a safer, healthier home environment. So with, we thought with the Radon Man, we could use that genre, that platform, to push it out because it's really hot right now in a time where we have social unrest, racial unrest, political unrest, and oh yeah, sprinkle a little bit of a global pandemic on top of that. So you said it earlier, it's a form of escapism. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're actually trying to create. We're in the beginning stages. And who's to say one day that the Radon Man couldn't be the next Spider-Man or Batman? They all started somewhere. Mm -hmm. So that's why we kind of uh, came upon the Radon Man to do that. Well, I think I actually think he's great for you guys because he is battling radon gas. Mm -hmm. You can't see it, you can't smell it, mm -hmm. and he's doing that to protect the greater good. And that's mm -hmm. what you guys do. You're mm -hmm. out there creating, you know, create, uh, protecting us from radon gas. You do it well. You do it with kindness, mm -hmm. fairly. Thank so, you. so appreciate what you do. Thank so, you. I always tell people when they're they're worried about that, I'm like, I got people. <laughs> so, <that you laughs> think. Yeah. so, so way to Thanks. go. We appreciate you and what you do in the community, Thank and you. Um, we wish you continued success. Thank you for having yeah, us. Thanks for appreciate having us. Appreciate it. Well, you're welcome. To find out more about Radon Reduction Systems, Inc., please visit their website. We all have a story to share, stories others can relate to, whether moments of sorrow or of hope and inspiration, whether a story of struggle or a moment of victory. Every little moment captured and shared helps us to feel more informed, helps us to feel more engaged with and connected to the community we all call home. Every little moment captured and shared adds up to something greater. For us, 
That something is the collective story of Naperville, a city rich in its volunteer spirit, its diversity, its traditions and celebrations, and so much more. In Naperville, there are so many stories worth sharing. And for the past 35 years, it's been our honor to tell those stories and share them with you. Welcome back to Business Connection. And joining me now from the Dan Firks team at Compass Real Estate are Dan Firks and Paige Ronchetti. Welcome, it's nice to see you both. Thanks for, Thanks having, for us. having us. Oh, you're welcome. So Dan, let's start with you. You've had 26 years in the real estate business. So tell me what keeps you in the business. Our clients, really. Um, 26 years of doing this, moving over 1,500 families, very happy families. Um, we get over 70% of our business from referrals. So really our clients keep us in business and we love taking them from the very beginning stages to the very end and then basically clients for life. That's awesome. Yeah. Now I know you, you have a lot of attention for detail and that's why your clients love you. Do you guys have some success stories to share? Well, actually, we have one that we're going through right now, and it's turning into a huge success. A past client again, uh, she recently lost her husband, mm. unfortunately, and she was never in charge of you know, the finances mm -hmm. or the big projects that would come about like selling your home. And she just didn't know where to start. She was moving from a, well, she's moving from a 3,000 square foot house to a 1,500 square foot house. So there was a lot of, what do I do with all this? And how are we going to make this happen and smooth transition to stage the house, get everything out of it? So we kind of just took over for her, held her hand through the whole process. And we got her to where we need to, you know, where she needs to be. That's and she, awesome. And she couldn't be happier. I he literally it. drove a U-Haul to her house mm -hmm. to take her excess furniture to a, a donation for an organization that we may talk a little bit more about later. But he literally drove the U-Haul. You gotta <laughs> do what needs to be done. Right, I'm not surprised by that. He's got, yeah. a, he's got a huge heart, he's helpful. Yeah. Paige, a success story from you? So this one's a little bit different. Um, how I know Dan is he actually used to be my realtor before I got my real estate license. And my husband and I bought and sold three homes with Dan. And mm -hmm. when I got my license last year, I thought I know exactly who I want to work for. And it's Dan. That's <laughs> so awesome. Here we are. <laughs> that's good. Well, and that's- And I couldn't be happier having her. She's amazing. She Just is. I mean, it's, it's nice when, when you compliment and you partner one another really well. So yeah. that, mm -hmm. that it's really coming through with you guys. So tell me, aside from getting to know people through real estate, how are you both involved in the community? Community is very important to us mm -hmm. and my team. Um, we are involved with the Naperville Chamber, lots of organizations or lots of activities, events. Uh, we love doing those events and sponsoring those events. I've been a member of the Rotary, mm -hmm. uh, Naperville Rotary. Yep, I've seen um, you there. Mm -hmm. 360 Youth Foundation mm -hmm. um, is another um, foundation that we love to be involved with. Um, and I think those are the, the main ones. Yeah, I'm also in the chamber, so ditto that. Ditto. And then we also do some work with the DuPage Foundation. Oh, and I have one more that I almost forgot about, one dear to my heart, been doing this 13, 14 years, Lowe's and Fishes, fishes. how dare me. Right, so yeah, I yeah. love Lowe's and Fishes, it's definitely <laughs> probably our, our biggest, um, where I donate and been volunteering for 12, 13 years now. Right, well, and, and that just puts you into the community so that you can hear mm -hmm. what people need and see where everybody's at. So right. I think that's really important. Yeah. What are some benefits um, clients get from working with a real estate team? You have the Dan First team, so what does that team mean? Um, well, we have connections throughout the community when it comes to the home inspectors, to the attorneys, to um, radon detection. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything that's involved, home staging, I mean, we have, connections um, and, well, basically connections with anybody, anything to do with real estate, even landscapers, pool, um, anything that when it comes to real estate, we know somebody that's been in the business for a while that we know when, they, when we call that they're going to show up, answer the phone, and you know, take care of our clients. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And as for the team itself, since I'm the newest member, I sort mm -hmm. of have the perspective, you know, coming from the outside in. Mm -hmm. You know, we have such a, a varied skill set on the team. We have Dan's pricing expertise. I have an interior design background, mm -hmm. and I am yeah. a certified home stager. And then we have this amazing office staff who are incredibly organized and detailed, and they just they handle everything on the back end. So we have all of these great skills 
that our clients get to benefit from that you wouldn't get from just one person. Right, because there's so much more involved with selling or buying a home than you think of. Mm -hmm. So you need a team that comes in with all those connections. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Kind of like a one-stop shop? A little bit, <laughs> a little right? Bit, yeah. yeah, but it, it's something that, you know, when you're starting, you have no idea of what you're going to need. You have none. And it takes 25 years to put that team and those connections together. It does, and, yeah, and really that's, does. that's why you are so successful. What advice might you give um, my viewers when it comes to real estate? Well, they, they need to call FERCS first. Well, that's an obvious, Dan, but I'm glad you said it. <laughs> um, and it really comes back around, loose back around to the team, really. Mm -hmm. Just the connections that you're going to have, you're going to be taken care of, you know you're going to be, um, quite frankly, you're going to be told, not told, I guess that's the wrong word, advised on the proper steps of what needs to be done to make it a smooth transition from start to finish. Mm -hmm. So definitely, no matter who you hire, you want somebody who has relationships in the community. So that's, I think that's the best advice yeah. we can give. Yeah. Right, because it, it's a hard choice to know who to, to trust with your, most, your largest asset. Absolutely. Right. So if somebody's thinking about um, selling or buying their home, how do they get in touch with you? How do you start with them? Uh, simple as just picking up the phone, giving us a call. Dan Ferks. When you Google Dan Ferks, you're going to find out more about me than I probably know about myself. We're, <laughs> we're pretty easy to get a hold of. Um, we, we work seven days a week for the most part. And the great thing is that one person's on vacation, somebody else is covering for the other. So we're always, mm -hmm. always available, literally. That's great. And we work globally, international, so sometimes we get phone calls at 2, 3 in the morning, believe it or not. I'm like, why is my phone going off? Yes, that, that's probably not your, you know, not something you, you get often. But, not often, but it does happen. Right. Well, yeah. and that's it, the real estate is an ongoing thing because when you're selling your home, it's a it's a moving process and absolutely, and, and it moves much faster than I think some people think it's going to. So it, it's absolutely, that's probably Liz. It's funny you say that because a lot of people, a lot of our clients say the exact same thing. This goes mm -hmm. so fast, and then that's okay. You know, let me hold your hand and then let, go through it. That's awesome. Well, I can't thank you enough, Dan. You have been a true partner to NCTV 17, so I would count that as your other community engagement is Absolutely. NCTV 17, so Absolutely. We, appreciate, um, we appreciate that. We know that when people call you and your team that they get excellent customer service and really solid advice. So thank you so much. Thank you, Liz. Nice to see you, Paige. Yeah, Glad you Glad you're part of the team. And if you're interested in learning more about the Dan Furks team at Compass Real Estate, please visit their website. If you're interested in a television appearance on Business Connection as a way to reach out to your community or to gain exposure for your company, visit nctv17.com. I'm Liz Spencer and thank you for watching Business Connection.